Hello, my name is David Buzzle and I'm currently presenting my 15-1-12 term project for the spring semester 2014. My project is designed to attack a special problem for music composers and musicians alike. When you have the perfect introduction, but you don't know how to finish it. And so there's a lot of music theory classes and many years I can be spent learning the actual specific rules of harmony and counterpoint. But at the end of the day, it becomes very tedious and very repetitive. So what if there were a program that was able to generate randomly a seek an ending to a piece based on these rules? Well, this is what this project tries to attack. In exa for example, this project takes in a measure of input that the user is able to define using rhythms and pitches and using mouse presses and is able, the algorithm takes that input and then is able to manipulate it so that you have a four measure piece of randomly generated work. So let's look at it in action. So here's the input. We're able to click on presses on the keyboard and have it highlight when we click on it. And we're able to see if we don't like a note, we're able to undo it all the way to the beginning. We're also able to change the rhythms as we're able to go so that we can get really intense, intricate rhythms. And once we do so, we can see that if we go to higher rhythms, it give us a decimal approximation as we need it. From there, we also see if we try adding a note that is longer than the measure length, it won't allow us because that's more than a measure. And now once we finish the piece, we can it will automatically close, it will shut down, and then we'll be able to view uh, the measure in another program called MuseScore. So let's see that happen. All right, so this is MuseScore. What this is, it's a way to be able to visualize music notation on a computer. Uh, and more specifically, since we're using music XML data in order to generate this uh, random note list, this actually is able to import the uh, note list and is able to be out displayed in a more commercially available UI so that you can see it uh, and interact with it and maybe be able to edit with it and make the next wonderful Grammy Award winning piece. Uh, this is available online. There's a link in the description that describes uh, where you can get this and really any music XML worker uh, viewer works for this project. I just decided to use this one as this is one I've used for many years before this. So this is a commercially available project. This is not my own software, but this is a way so that we can interact with what we created. Back to the idle output. We can see that when we look at this, this algorithm is doing a lot of computations, and we're able to view it as it goes along. First, it displays the notes that we inputted as a list. It will then find the key and tonality of that list and save it, and then it will generate a new list using recursive backtracking using the input and the tonalities that we found. Uh, this recursive backtracking works so that uh, we pick a, a note in a given set of notes and then we decide what is the next note using a few basic rules of counterpoint. Basically, cadence mappings, uh, interval lengths, and if the pitch is actually in the tonality, major or minor. And so we check down and if we find another note that fits, we add it onto this list. And we keep on going until there is no more possible notes that will end this piece. And it, once we reach that dead end, we go back to the last possible input, and we keep on trying until we get a possible output. If, we, if there's no possible way, given the input, the program will shut down. Instead of crashing, it will say, sorry, we're unable to find something. Please try again. We're also able to see at the bottom here that there is actually a waiting input for the user to be able, if they want to type it in again and do another input, they can click yes, and it will run the same program as we demonstrate now. To end the program, all that we have to do after a generation is go into the output, type in N, and then it will thank you for using the program and it will terminate. And that is my project. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you gain some educational value from this.